hello this is Michelle and I am doing a tutorial on custom animation um, I'm sure that you in the course of your career have had to use PowerPoint sometime or, or another whether it was um, teaching in the classroom or if it was um, a special presentation you're doing at a staff meeting or just in college I know I do pl plenty of PowerPoint presentations so I'm sure you've at least heard of them and I'm sure you've kind of seen the gamut of presentations. Some of them are so dull you can't even stay awake, while others of them are very interesting. And I'm leaning toward the interesting side, and I'm going to try to um, demonstrate how to use custom animation within your slideshow to make it a little more interesting and make your audience a little more engaged into what you're doing. Um, I'm going to start off just with a few examples of my presentations that I've done and stuff that I've actually used in college. Um, this is the first one, just kind of comparing. So this, I mean, the it, it looks fine, but it's just, it's very boring, and this is probably the most subtle custom animation I'll compare this with in the next slide. So I did a presentation on Christina Rossetti, and this was my final slide. I could have just left it like this, you know, you just click and the slide appears. Well, I decided to do it a little bit differently. You'll notice it looks exactly the same, but with this just tiny bit of visual effect, it just it makes a bigger impact on the audience. So, just by doing this, it slowly fades in, and it just gives a, a little bit more of a powerful effect, especially for an ending. And so that's what I did for that particular presentation. Um, this is another one I had to explain my volunteer service, and this time I used animation for humor, and you'll see in the next slide. In this case, I used a little sarcasm in the end. I said, um, I am grateful for being allowed to engage in such enthralling work. My task was to do the following. Stuff envelopes for four hours. So, of course, through words, you can, you can use humor through words, but animation makes it so you can actually use it in even more depth, which I did in this, present, in this slide. Um, as you can see, I actually used animation to bring in my title, which a little animation catches the eye. I also used it to bring in the main part of my um, the content of the page and then I didn't let them know what my work was but I ended it with my task was to do the following and I used an illustration to do it to explain what I did I said take an envelope open the envelope insert paper into envelope close the envelope I had to do this for four hours so as you can see I used animation to create humor in my presentation and I noticed that it caught a lot more of the members in the audience than it probably would have. They may or may not have caught my slight bit of sarcasm um, in the previous slide. Another example is um, back to the Christina Rossetti presentation I did. Um, this you could do, you could just present all this information at one time, but with custom animation you can make this so much better because when you're presenting this to an audience, you can see all these words and it's a lot of information to, for them to take in at one time. So through custom animation, you can bring and present things one thing at a time rather than bombarding them with this huge, you know, the dad, the mom, the four children. You can break it up through animation and that's what I did in this slide. I presented the title, this is the Rossetti family, and I just presented it one member at a time. So I started with the father, I explained what he did, so then they're getting the, they're getting pieces of the puzzle one at a time, rather than having to see everything all at once with information overload. And then I presented each of the children one at a time in chronological order, and they're introduced with arrows. I mean, it's the same format, but I used custom animation to do this. And, I mean, as you can see, this is just more visually appe appealing, and it also helps the audience digest the information because they can break it down and take more in rather than just seeing a whole page of, you know, six people at one time. Okay, now that you've seen how I did my own custom animation for my presentations, I want to run you through how you can do it yourself for the next presentation. Um, right here I've created a slide just so I can run you through how to animate your presentation. Um, this is the home screen, this is Microsoft 07, it may look a little different if you're not used to it, if you're still in the 0307 version. Um, up here are the tabs that get you where you want to go. Um, the home screen is what you're default where you're usually at most of the time. What you want to go, you want to go to the animations tab. 
And you click on it and you can see up here this is these are all the tools for inserting animation into your presentation. I click on custom animation and this panel appears over on the right. Now if you want to animate things you actually have to click on the object. So the first thing I want to animate is the custom animation because it's the title and usually I animate the title first. So when I click on it you'll notice that this add effect button will light up. Right now it's gray because nothing's selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click and it lit up so that means I can animate this. So I'm going to go to add effect and as you can see there's different effects. You can do an entrance, an emphasis. Once it's on your screen you can make it do something. You can make it leave the screen and have some excitement with that. Or you can make it move around and do really fun stuff with that. I'm going to focus on the entrance for now, but you can play around with these different ones later when you're doing your own presentation. So I'm going to go into more effects. These right here are nine of them, and it's not the complete list, so I'm going to click on more effects. And this, by just clicking, it will preview exactly what it's going to look like. So I'm going to choose stretch, and I'll see what that looks like. So that shows you. Um, I'll try bounce. And that one's a little bit exciting. Um, I myself, I think I'm going to go with ease in, just because it's pretty neat looking, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So that's been animated. The next thing I want to animate is the fireworks picture. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, go to add effect, entrance, more effects. I'll move this over so you can see what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to choose the pinwheel because it's it's a pretty appropriate effect for fireworks so it's exciting and I'm gonna go ahead and use that one so I'll click OK and as you, you can see it's the second animation number two that's on my screen okay for the next bit I want to um, animate the main text of the slide and we could do all of it I'm going to delete a few lines just to save us on time and because I think you're kind of you understand the point of what's going on to to animate each item. Now this one's a little bit tricky because I want to be able to animate this in four different parts. I want this, the first paragraph to be of its own, each bulleted item to have their own animation, and then the final paragraph to have its own animation. So what I'm going to do, I have selected the box of text, going to add effect, entrance, and I will just choose one. I'll go with appear. Now what I want to do, in order to make these divide, right now you can see that each of these, there's a three for the two bulleted items in the first paragraph. That means that they will appear with the same animation and they will appear at the same time. So I'm going to go over to this little drop tab and go to effect options. I'm going to select text animation and by second level paragraphs instead of first. That way it will break the bulleted items up. So as you can see that fixed our problem. Each has its own number. So we're going to go ahead and animate them. I'm going to go ahead and click on the fourth item. And I'm just going to go to change, entrance. I'm just going to just pick one. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pick bounce. Sorry about that. I meant to click the one that I had the words for. So I'm going to click bounce. Then for the fifth animation, we have boomerang. So I'm going to go ahead and click that so it aligns with the word. And then for the final animation, the sixth, number six, I'm going to go ahead and just pick a random one of these, or I could go into effects and pick a different one, but I'm going to choose flip. So now that we have all of these done, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what we have. I'm going to go into the slideshow preview so you can actually see what happens with all of these animations. So we're on the presentation. This is what people will see when they watch. So if I'm going to click the mouse and all of this is going to come up. There's our title. It came up with its animation. Now the picture will come with the pinwheel effect. And we had the first one just appeared. That, wasn't, that one wasn't very exciting, but it's okay. It's still animation and it's still a step trying to make your presentation exciting. Now here comes the next two bulleted items that we um, animated. That was the bounce effect. That was the boomerang effect, and then we had the final flip effect for the final paragraph, and that one's a pretty fun one to watch. So that is custom animation in a nutshell, and I hope that you're inspired to use it in your next PowerPoint presentation, because it's a lot of fun to put together, and I'm pretty sure that you will find your audience to be quite riveted.